Hi, Rich Powell from ClearPath here. Public-private partnerships is a term that gets used a lot for innovation. But here's the thing. Major advances in new energy technology, from oil to nuclear energy to renewables, all had serious government support in their early stages. Large-scale energy innovation doesn't happen in someone's garage or basement. Technology breakthroughs often require both private and public investment in order to scale up deployment and bring down costs. We've seen this model work for solar, wind, and other clean energy technologies. But there is no better example than the shale gas boom in America. In the 1970s, Texas entrepreneur George Mitchell figured out how to break up shale rocks to release the natural gas stuck inside. This process, called hydraulic fracturing, initially got off the ground with support from the U.S. Department of Energy, who cost-shared R&D and demonstrations in the 1980s and 90s, as well as tax credits from the early 80s to the 2000s. These DOE projects included demos of hydraulic fracturing, horizontal drilling, 3D seismic imaging, diamond-headed drill bits, and ultimately, combined cycle natural gas turbines. These now produce 24-7 reliable power more affordably than anything else on the U.S. grid. Both this early stage investment and the production tax credit, together more than $10 billion, expired as the technology matured. Now we have a $100 billion annual market in America. Not a bad return.